Uh, Mitch, firstly, on proceedings off the pitch, uh, the CEO tells me you didn't know this morning that you were going to be uh, you're going to be captain today. No, I had no idea. Um, you know, a few people had mentioned a few different things, but um, I had no idea. Um, you know, it was good to get get that obviously, and you know, to sort my contract out this morning and secure my future with Kent. So. You know, looking forward to the next few years here. Mm, and it's an honour that isn't sort of um, bestowed to many, and it must be a real pleasure to, to have received that award. Yeah, I was only saying to someone, I think there's only been 213 plays in however long Ken's been around. You know, he's obviously some sort of achievement in itself. You know, the clubs I've been at previously didn't have the cap system, especially Durham, which is, you know, you cap your first time you play the your county. So, you know, to receive that, I've received some lovely messages from people, so it's, it's been a nice day. Mm, and a reward for your hard work, particularly over the last couple of seasons and, and top wicket taker across all formats this year. Yeah, well, as you know, I had a point to prove this year with last year with the red ball. We've been left out of a few games and concentrating on white ball cricket. And but I identified from the start that, you know, I wanted to be playing red ball cricket in all forms. So, I, you know, worked on a few things over the winter and, you know, come back and it's managed to be going well at the moment. Mm. And what point in the day did you find out you were going to get the cap? Was it moments before they gave it to you or this morning? Or? No, walking off the field, someone said, oh, what's going on here? Someone's getting capped. Who is it? It'll be Mitch. And that's pretty much when I found out. Mm. And then you got an eye to give the president a nice uh, sweaty kiss as well. Yeah, I was sweating as well. And they've, they've given me a hat that's about half the size that should be to fit my head, so I'll have to try and order an extra large one. Mm, and a new contract, you say, you signed that this morning, did you? Yeah, well, I don't know if it's, yeah, well, it's all been sorted out, and, you know, we've secured my future at Kemp for the next couple of years, so, you know, that was my goal at the start of the year, to try and, you know, stay here, and, you know, it's managed to work out pretty well. Mm, back to sort of matters on the pitch, got a quarter final coming up against Yorkshire, and a, a county you're familiar with, of course. Yeah, absolutely, you know, I've got a, a lot of friends there, and played there for a few years, it's where I started my cricket in England, so... Um, you know, they'll obviously be very strong, but, um, you know, the home ground, hopefully, advantage will play a big part for us. And, you know, we're on a bit of roll in that form of cricket. So if we can, you know, just play how we've played, especially the last four or five games, um, you know, well, I, th I think we're up for beating anyone. Mm, and it's a side that you haven't played since 2012, I think, here at Kent. So it'll be nice to get Yorkshire down here at Kent in the atmosphere as well. Yeah, absolutely. You know, a Thursday evening, school holidays, hopefully the place is full. And, you know, they're all supporting Kent and giving Yorkshire a hard time.